This is how to transform your Elementor website from basic into a stunning 3D masterpiece with just a few simple steps. I will show you step by step how I built this inside Elementor Editor. So make sure to watch the entire video so you don't skip any steps. If you want to save time and just get going, I'll then show you later in the video how to download and import this entire section as a ready to use template. You can import it directly into your Elementor website. All right, let's dive in and get started. Okay, so here we are inside the Elementor editor and over here you can see all of the layers. Each layer has a number which indicates what order it should be in. But for now, let me go ahead and delete everything so I can show you how to do this from scratch. The only thing I will leave is the menu. Okay, so first off, create a container. The container should have a height of 100 view height, which means that no matter what, it will always fit the screen. Then I'll go ahead and insert a background image. I will drag in my folder here, which you can also find in the description, and I will upload this image. I will set the image to center center, no repeat, and just cover. This is actually not the original background image, because as you can see, there is no island over here, and this mountain is also blurred out. And that's because I cropped it out. Over here you can see the original image in Canva. So what I did was just click edit image and use this magic wand to grab some of the image. I just clicked on the island. The software figured out for itself where the island was and then I can now copy and move the mountain wherever I want. So what I did was just create a new tab, inserted the island and just exported it as a PNG with a transparent background. You can see I have done this to all of these mountains. Okay, so let's go back to Elementor Editor. And one thing I forgot before is that we also have a header, but right now it's hidden. So I will just go ahead and set the margin to 130 minus. So now you can see it, click save, and then I'll drag in the heading. I'll just make sure that the heading is centered so there you can see it now. Inside the heading, I will just write the name of this place in Vietnam and I will center it, make it white and then change the font to this cool Bebas new. And then the size would have to be 255 pixels and the weight just have to be 500. Then I will change the letter spacing to 10 pixels. All right, I will duplicate it and create a new heading just write Vietnam over here and then I'll have to make this a bit smaller, maybe something like 130. The weight will just be 400 and the line height should be zero and the letter spacing a bit smaller, 5%. Actually, we have to make this transparent because I can then use this text stroke, which is really cool. I'll set it to white and two pixels. Then I will just go ahead and rename this container because this is our layer zero and this is our layer one and our layer two. And down here we have something called the set index and the set index is really important for this website to work. So the set index determines which order the layer should be in. So set index zero is the first layer and then we have two, one, two, three, four and five and so on. This means I will set the set index to 1 because it's heading 1 and the heading 2 will have the set index of 2. Okay, so now we will add the next layer and this will be the mountain. The mountain should be in front of the text which you saw in the beginning. So to do that, I will go ahead and search for the image widget and drag it in uh, maybe at the top. Then I will go ahead and find my folder again and find mountain which is this one. I will import it and then select it. All right, so first off, make sure that the resolution is full and the size is 87. And then go to advanced, scroll down, change the position to absolute. This enables us to move the image around. Change this to 532 and set this to bottom and then change this to 94. Okay, I'll just order the images and call it mountain 
which is actually also number two. So I'll just give the set index number two here. All right, so now you can see the text is behind the mountain, but this does not look right. But we will cover that later in the video because we have to cover it with something else. All right, I will duplicate the image and click on it and then import a new image. This is number three, which is some smoke or some fog. Then we will change the name to fog three. So we know that the set index should be three. I will make sure the image resolution in full, set it to 48%. Scroll down, change the settings to horizontal orientation left, 428, bottom 144, and the set index of course, three. All right, again, duplicate it and change the image. This fog is a bit more green. I will make sure the image resolution is full, set the width to 42, scroll down in advanced, and change the positioning to 518 and the vertical orientation should be 519. I'll change the name to 4 so we know that the set index is always 4. Okay, so now I will duplicate this image and insert the island image. Done. Alright, the image resolution is full. I'll change the width to 57 and then change the positioning to 254 and the vertical orientation to 19 and the set index to 5. We'll go ahead and duplicate the image and change it to something else. I'll just click on it and change it to number 6 which is this mountain. I'll import it and make sure the width is the right one 65 and the positioning should be 333 and for the vertical orientation it should be minus 13. Down here you can see we have a lot of white space so to get rid of this white space we need to click on the container and change the height to 106 so as you can see now it disappeared. Okay let's go ahead and move on duplicate the image again so we can change it to a new one. I will now insert this fog and make sure it's the right, right uh, width this just be 69 and the horizontal orientation should just be 931. The vertical orientation will set to top and then the number should be 501. So this is our image number seven. So I will give it the set index of seven. Okay, again, duplicate and insert a new image, island. And this is actually the same island that I showed you before. I just flipped it horizontally. So it looks like another island. I'll make sure the width is correct. This should be 57 and the horizontal orientation should be 450. Then I'll set the vertical orientation to bottom and change the offset to 100 minus and set the set index to eight. And then again, duplicate and insert a new layer. This time will just be some fog. This time will just be some fog. I'll insert it and make sure it's the right positioning oh or first make sure the width is 69 the positioning should be right horizontal orientation 302 minus and then the vertical orientation just 78 minus this is image number nine so i'll give it the set index number nine okay i'll duplicate the image again find the next image and this is just a rock that should be to the left of the or sorry the right of the image i will just move this so you can see what i'm doing i'll go ahead and change the width to 62 and the horizontal orientation should be 419 and the vertical orientation should be minus 20 and of course also minus for the horizontal orientation i'll change the image name so it's number 10 and give it the set index 10. okay let's do the process again and insert a new image this time it's some trees that will also be to the right of the image. Horizontal orientation should be minus 359. The vertical orientation should just be minus 17. All right, and the set index is of course 11, so we'll set it to 11. Okay, we are almost there. I think that we have 15 layers. So now I will just insert the next layer, which is this. And this is just some fog. I'll make sure the width is the correct one. Set it to 48. And then 
change the horizontal orientation to minus 169 and the vertical orientation set this to 264. And then this is layer number 12, so I give it a set index of 12. Okay, let's take a look at it. As you can see, it's already beginning to look like a fun result, but we are not quite there yet. So I'll add in a new layer, find the next image, which is number 13, our sun. I'll add this image in and make sure it's width 100. And for this time, we need to set the width to full width. Scroll down and set the horizontal orientation to zero and the vertical orientation to minus 170. I will change the set index to 13. There you go. All right, two more layers to go. I will add in a new image, which will be this black shadow and then make sure the image width is 100. Scroll down and set this to minus 17 and change the name and the set index to 14. Then I'll duplicate this image and this is the exact same image. So the only thing you have to be aware of now is to change the set index to 15. I will also change the name. All right, as you can see, this cloud is looking a bit weird. So I'll just try to find it and change it a bit. It's not this one. All right, here it is number nine. So what I will do is just maybe change the set index. So now it's behind this mountain. And then I could also change the opacity a bit. So it's not that bright, maybe something like this. And then maybe the position should be a bit lower so it's completely behind the mountain. All right, there you go. That looks so much better. Okay, so now I want the bottom of the image to be a bit more black. So I will go ahead and find the last layer and change the background of it to some gradient background. I will set this to transparent and the other color should be black so the image kind of fades out. I will change the color maybe so it's a bit more transparent, something like this. Okay, so here at the bottom we have some white space. So I'll just go ahead and create a new section and make this completely black and make it some random heights and just change the set index so we can't see these mountains or clouds. All right, so there you go. Okay. Now I think let's go ahead and take a look at what we built so far and compare it to the final result. Okay, as you can see, we are not quite there yet. Uh, for example, this mountain is not on our picture. So I think I will go ahead and change that. I will find the mountain number. I think it was this one, number six. Okay, you can slightly see it down at the left. So I'll just change the set index and see if it pops in front. There you go. Okay. And then we have this cloud in front of the island number two. So I'll just go ahead and find a random cloud and duplicate that cloud and change it to and the name extra fog. And then I'll just change the positioning so it's in front of the mountain. I'll change the set index to nine. All right, there you go. Maybe we should bring it up a bit. All right, I'll just compare them again. Okay, there is definitely something different with the text. So let's just go ahead and click on the heading and change this to minus 130 like this. And the other title, we will set that to 100 or minus 100 also. So that's a bit better, but as you can see on the final result, the text and the clouds and the mountains are moving. So how to achieve this? You go inside advanced and find motion effects. Click on mouse effects and turn that on. Click on mouse track. And as you can see now, when I move the mouse, the text responds with the opposite or the direct uh, direction. So I will just set this to direct and set it to one and the 3D tilt, which is also really cool. I will also set this to one. Okay. So this is actually something we have to do on most of the elements of our website. As you can see on the fine result, all of the objects are moving or almost all. So I also want to copy that on every other object. But before we do that, as you can see the text has this parallax effect where it moves down when I scroll down. So I will activate this scrolling effect and activate the vertical scroll, 
set it to down and set it the speed to 4. So now you can see it disappears behind the mountains when I scroll down. Alright, so now I will just go ahead and add this effect to everything else. So I will click on the heading 1 and change the mouse track to direct and set it to 1 and the 3D tilt to opposite and just 2. So now both titles are moving. And then let's go ahead and make the fog also move. So I will just go ahead and click the mouse effect again and choose the direct and set it to 1 and set this to 2. Okay, so I will kind of change things up every time I choose an image. It just looks so much cooler when it moves in a different direction each time I've moved the mouse. Okay. One last thing, I think this is the last layer we need to add the effect on, is this island. See if I can find it, I think it's number 8. And I will just go ahead and add the effect on layer 8, and the effect uh, will be not scrolling, but a mouse effect. I will just set it to opposite 1 and direct 2. Okay, so now let's look at it one last time. Uh, I think we will do this in incognito. Let's just compare it with the final result. Okay, so I'm happy with the end result. But if you just want a ready to import template, click this link, which you can find in the video description. The link will take you to Gumroad, where you can purchase it by clicking I want this. Then you will have to insert your email address and card information. After payment, you will get a downloadable zip file, unzip it and import it to Elementor like this. There you go. I have more Elementor case study videos coming up where you can learn cool element tricks for your next web design projects. Take a look at this video for example.